Holy Thunder. Wow, there's are something wrong with transmission. Oh, that's better. Yes, Hayley, uh, we've got a uh, last earthquake to talk about. Do we? I don't know. Central Alaska, 1.9 magnitude. Right, and then we move on to earthquakes today where we see Hawaii had quite an outbreak. I know this because I already looked at it. Um, but we go over here, island of Hawaii. It started, this is in reverse chronological order. Uh, pff, good grief, it's quite a lot. Um, the big, I think they'd call it the main shock was the 4.5 at, I'm not sure what Hawaii time is, but let's see, that'd be midnight UTC, that'd be 12 minus five, that'd be 12, seven. I think it'd be seven central, eight eastern, that time range was when the first one kicked off, or midnight, and then they've had a whole bunch of aftershocks today. Because I don't think I've seen anything in the Hawaii uh, yet. And you know who else had an earthquake? Uh, Texas, where'd it go? Texas. Yes, I could just do this, Texas. Right here, USGS, let's see if who felt it, because a full point eight, that's pretty big. So maps, did you feel it? And apparently, yeah, some people felt it. MMI, so by that, five. That's moderate shake. So, Texas, I don't know what kind of activity they have down there normally, but yeah, big stuff. Too much reverb. Anyway, moving on to where we've got all the wintry stuff is moving eastward and expanding out. Okay, so freeze warning, frost advisory, and this dark blue, because it, see, it's not quite the same shade as that. Freeze watch. That's what that is. Red flag warning, extreme fire danger. Whoops, the mouse was in the wrong place. Probably also a red flag warning, but it's quite tiny. Yeah, red flag warning. So both, of the, all three of these things are fire related, but they're different. And I, I'm, I seriously got to put it on my, um, what's that called, a to-do list to look up what's the difference. When is it a red flag warning? When is it extreme fire danger? So here's the drought monitor. So. Texas not as you know horribly red as it once was but still quite horribly red in other areas and so is Oklahoma and Kansas and New Mexico and maybe just a bit of Arizona with the exceptional drought and not many people getting rain in the next five days isn't that true hydro meteorological prediction center says I just call them HPC it's way easier I'm sorry the H, -H HPC, because you have to pronounce the H. It's really hard for me to pull that off. I don't do that. And who knows what this is? This is the severe, well, not severe, this is the thunderstorm area. But as you can see, it's all green. So we can skip over all of those because they're just going to tell us what we already know, which is that there's not much of a chance. Also, tomorrow, no thunderstorm areas forecast at all. So not not even, you know, thunderstorm, not severe, nothing. And then out in the Eastern Pacific, nothing predicted hurricane-wise, but over here we have some yellow blobs to talk about. 20% chance of tropical cyclone formation over there and 10%. So not a whole lot. Let's see if we can get the hurricane plot on that. I have no idea what that is. That was helpful. Indeed, I have. N I think that's. Uh, let's see, out here. So that probably actually is that one. I guess they're not running the full models yet because it's such a low chance. That's I guess. Or is it that this one goes off the map? And so who knows? That was quite a waste. Anyway, Wicked Wix. Uh, you like green stuff, yeah? So you go over there. And you get plenty of green stuff this time of year. However, I will say I think it was the tail end of October that there was some sort of a, last year, tail end of October, there was a, a severe weather outbreak. I can't remember if it was a high risk or not, but, you know, so it's, just because it looks okay right now does not mean that it couldn't uh, increase, I guess is the word. Anyway, Wicked Wix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X. Thank goodness there isn't an H in it, because I prefer to call it an H, not a H, because, you know, you have to, as that takes a lot of effort to take to pronounce one letter. Anyway, you take it easy.